Good morning. Today I'd like to discuss what to leave behind when you're selling your house. The, it's the day before your settlement and the movers are there and you decide that you're going to leave all of the cans of touch-up paint and the construction materials from the renovations that you've done on the property in the basement for the new buyers. Should you leave those or should you take them out? Let's talk about it. So what should you leave behind? Warranties, any warranties with the property, the warranty for the roof, manuals, the manuals for the dishwasher, especially manuals for anything that is um, uh, uh, fancy, <laughs> like um, a decor wall oven that has a, a million different buttons that may not be self-explanatory. Um, but warranties are a big thing that you should definitely leave behind. The garage remotes. So many times the garage door openers are left in the cars and then the seller has to drive all the way back or FedEx the garage door openers to the buyer um, because they didn't bring them with them at settlement. Of course, keys to the property. Um, take the time to make sure that you have keys for all of the doors before settlement. Um, sold a house recently where there were no keys to the doors because the sellers hadn't locked their doors in the seven years that they owned the property. Um, so make sure that you know where all the keys are and make sure that they fit all the doors. Um, uh, codes, smart houses um, have a lot of codes, especially the garage door opener. You want your buyers to be able to get in, so give them the garage door code even though they're going to reset it later on. Any codes that that buyer is going to need, make sure that they have them and buyers make sure that you recode everything after you move in. Um, instructions for the pool and the exterior lighting packages and the irrigation system. Um, the security alarm, that's another thing that you need to let your buyers know. Uh, what security company you're currently using, what the setup is, make sure that your agent is able to give that information to the other agent. But the things that should not be left behind is really anything that you haven't made arrangements for with the buyer, including those parquet floor pieces or the rolls of wallpaper. Um, your buyer is not going to be happy. A personal property that's left behind just because the lawn furniture, just because the porch furniture fits perfectly in that space, don't think that the buyer is going to be really happy to have it. Ask your agent, ask your seller's agent to get in touch with the buyer's agent and ask if the buyer actually wants those things to be left behind. Many times we have very surprised sellers at settlement when the buyer has done their walkthrough and has a, and it, it's an issue and those pieces need to be removed prior to settlement. Um, I have been in a situation um, once or twice where uh, I was stuffing the contents of uh, kitchen drawers into my car because the sellers left, uh, check your junk drawer, sellers uh, leave behind things in drawers all the time um, and linen closets. Um, holiday decorations and flags should be removed. Um, building supplies, definitely. Um, cleaning supplies, don't assume that the buyer is going to want your cleaning supplies. Make sure that you take them off of the property. Make arrangements to have your trash picked up and or your dumpster removed. Um, buyers really don't love to have uh, trash covering their front lawn waiting for the um, for the pickup, for the garbage pickup. Make sure you make an arrangement with your, your trash provider to do an extra pickup to pick up your trash before you um, before the, the buyers need those trash cans. The next video will probably be a property video for a new property that's coming on the market in a week or so. So look for that. It's a lovely townhouse in New Hope and I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much.